people are wondering, how were these documents leaked? Because I firmly believe the league did it. I firmly believe the league did it. I've been saying it from the get-go. The only mainstream sports commentator to defend John Gruden against the NFL and Roger Goodell has suddenly flipped on who leaked the emails. It's a very small universe of people who had access to those emails. Dan Snyder is one of those individuals. Not only did a Nevada judge deny the NFL's motion to push this case to arbitration, but this judge gave John Gruden even another victory in court. Judge Nancy Elf has denied the NFL's motion to stay the case. What the hell does that mean? While the NFL waits on its appeal to push John Gruden's case to arbitration, instead of staying the case, meaning it wait until that appeal process is done, the judge said no, you can't stay the case. Meaning that the discovery process will begin, meaning that John Gruden's lawyers will start asking the NFL and Roger Goodell for some information. So things are starting to look really bad for the NFL and now there's this movement in the media to cover their ass by putting everything on Dan Snyder. There are people who believe that Snyder leaked the emails into- In 2021, when the emails were leaked and John Gruden was forced to resign, Mike Florio was a staunch critic of the NFL and pointed out how these emails were selectively leaked to take down John Gruden. Because I firmly believe the league did it. I firmly believe the league did it. I've been saying it from the get-go. Contents of emails that were deliberately and selectively leaked by the league. And it was only after Gruden loudly defended himself and Davis didn't do anything that the league leaked more. The league kept leaking more. What did the NFL want? The NFL wanted him out. The NFL wanted him out. This got set in motion by the league against John Gruden before anything was leaked to the media. At times, he even got upset at his co-hosts when they would naively state that they don't know how the New York Times or the Washington Post got Gruden's emails. I don't know how these reporters got these emails. I don't know. Uh, Come on, Peter. So they I'm handed them to him. Anything. They handed them to him. They wanted it out. We'll this see. is an agenda by the league to take down Gruden. And the folks at the Wall Street Journal and the folks at the New York Times were just sitting there and the phone rang. They weren't hacking anyone's computer. Because no, if they were, we'd have Snyder's emails, not Gruden. The clearest indication that the NFL and Roger Goodell leaked these emails is the fact that they sent some of them to the Raiders before they leaked them. They chose to send to the Raiders the John Gruden emails. They chose to do that. The, the leaks didn't start until after the NFL put together the package of emails and sent them to Mark Davis. So given this timeline, it makes no sense why the NFL would give these emails to the Raiders, say, hey, what are you going to do about this? And then out of nowhere, Daniel Snyder is supposed to leak these same emails, these same emails that the NFL grabbed out of the Washington football investigation and gave to the Raiders. But Florio, one of the staunchest critics of the NFL, is now pinning all of this on Dan Snyder. There are people who believe that Snyder leaked the emails into because I firmly believe the league did it. I firmly believe the league did it. I've been saying it from the get-go. It seems like Mike Florio has forgotten in less than a year his own claims about how these emails came to light. And Mike Florio himself knows that the commander's investigation was wrapped up in July and Daniel Snyder had just a measly $10 million fine. If anything, Gruden's emails brought Daniel Snyder's situation back to light. The public had already forgotten about it in October. And John Gruden's own lawsuit, which is against the NFL and specifically Roger Goodell for targeting John Gruden, also uses Goodell's lack of punishment for Daniel Snyder as evidence that John Gruden was selectively targeted. Keep in mind, there is no written report on the Washington football investigation, which is unprecedented. And none of the 650,000 emails of that investigation have been released. Only John Gruden's have been released to the public. Even though Congress has requested that they be released, they still have not. And what's shocking is Mike Florio knows better. He knows what is going on with this case. And when he has spoken frankly about this case on his show, he's even talked about how it's probably not going to make the NFL and Roger Goodell that happy. I, I hope people appreciate that what we're talking about right now is not going to make people at 345 Park Avenue happy. So the fact that he's switching his tune shows that things are really hitting the fan for the NFL right now. The discovery process is beginning and a lot of information is going to be revealed about how the NFL really works. And Roger Goodell is at the center of this lawsuit because like John Gruden's lawsuit specifically states, Gruden said negative stuff about the commissioner which led to him being targeted. And Goodell recently got a pay raise 
and got a contract extension, so the only way he could save himself right now is to pin all this on somebody else, which is Dan Snyder. But we know Florio is a smart individual, and one thing that he's really great at is breaking down legal situations in layman's terms to a mainstream audience. And he's a perfect weapon to combat the NFL and Roger Goodell. But quite frankly, he works for one of the biggest networks in NFL media, NBC. So it's no surprise that he would be compromised when things reach this critical moment. Ultimately, John Gruden is suing Roger Goodell, not Daniel Snyder. And John Gruden is smart enough to know who did this to him. And his legal team, who had previously worked for Mark Davis and the Raiders, is also smart enough to know who's behind this. We will continue to see how the NFL media treats this case between John Gruden and the NFL and Roger Goodell. And if they will, totally just try to blame this on Daniel Snyder out of nowhere when it makes no sense with the chronology of events. And hopefully Mike Florio can get back to doing what he does best, which is criticize the NFL instead of pushing out this narrative, blaming things on Daniel Snyder when he himself knows that doesn't make too much sense. The cheapest way to support this channel is to like this video and click subscribe. Let's see if we can get to 31,000 subscribers. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out, and I hope you have a good one.